I'm really excited about uh, having an opportunity to speak with a buddy boy. I've known her for years. I want to tell you a little story about why I'm so excited about her running for mayor. As, as was noted, I was the superintendent of schools in, in Newton. Newton does not belong to a tech vocational regional program. They run their own tech vote program. A couple of years after I left, the director of the program retired, and they were looking for somebody to take his place, and they hired him on. Now, the guy who taught the trade in the tech vote program at Newton, who were very good people, and very good teachers. They weren't exactly the most progressive people in the world. So they heard that a woman was going to be their boss. And then they heard that the woman who was going to be their boss was black. And some eyebrows raised and some questions came up and some, what is this all about? So when Yvonne got there, um, people were a little questioning, a little hesitant, a little pushed back. And yet, in an incredibly short amount of time, if Yvonne asked any one of them to jump, they would say, how high? Now, the question is, how did she do that? How did she do that? Well, the first thing that she did was she built up trust. She understands trust. How do you build up trust? You build up trust by being honest. You build up trust by being transparent. People knew that when, they, when she spoke, she was speaking from her heart and her head. People knew that when they asked her a question, they might not get the answer they wanted, but they would get the answer that she believed in. So that's what she will do. That's me. Now, she also was inclusive. And at this point in time, Framingham needs somebody who understands the meaning of inclusiveness. Place is still divided. We don't, we don't need a major to don't cause further division. We need somebody who understands how to bring people together. And one of the traits that she used to do that is Yvonne is a spectacular listener. She listens to people, she listens to what they say, she listens to what they don't say. And she puts that to work. The third thing that she does, which is the essence of her, is why I'm so pleased, the essence of her, she understands what the word respect means. She understands what it means to respect people. Now in this place, should not matter whether you live in the north side or the south side. It should not matter whether you live or poor. It should not matter whether you're white or of color. It should not matter whether you speak English or a language other than English. It should not matter whether you're old or young. It should not matter whether you're handicapped or not handicapped. Every individual deserves respect, and that's the essence of the one party. This is not that if she wants to do and she doesn't want to. That's her being, that's what she is all about. 